Good morning guys, this is John AE5X and I'm getting ready to begin construction on my 40 meter QCX Mini and before I do that though I've wound the three inductors that are used in the low pass filter for the kit and I want to measure the inductance of them before putting them into the kit with the idea that maybe later I might have to add or remove a turn or otherwise manipulate the windings on the core in order to get the rated output. That's not an uncommon thing to have to do. But before doing any of that I wanted to measure what the exact inductance is of the coils and to do that I've got two methods. I've got a dedicated LCR meter and I've got a nano VNA like a lot of other people nowadays. Um, these things are super cheap and they're very accurate. So I thought I would use uh, one of the inductors from the kit to demonstrate how to use a nano VNA to measure the inductance value. Um, the nano VNA won't do that directly I don't think, um, at least not that I've been able to determine, but with the help of a capacitor of a known value a tuned circuit can be built, in this case a series tuned circuit, and the inductance can be calculated from the known value of capacitance and the resonant frequency that's created with the tuned circuit. So uh, let me set up and show you how that's done. To start with, I've built a little um, test jig, for lack of a better term, out of a, an SMA cable. The other end is connected to the Nano VNA. And this end is connected to a terminal strip in which I've got the, um, the inductor inserted. I'm checking the focus. I've got the inductor inserted into it and um, also a capacitor that I had in my toolbox. This one happens to be a 10 picofarad capacitance. I didn't choose that value for any particular reason other than the fact that it's the first one that I laid hands on when I went into the junk box. If you don't have a junk box though, you can use a capacitor from the kit that you're building, uh, the QCX or whatever it is, and the value of it doesn't really matter that much, uh, 10 picofarads, 33, uh, whatever, whatever you grab. And uh, that is in series with the inductor and connected to channel 0 or port 0 of the uh, of the nano VNA. Okay, I should mention that I don't use the nano VNA as a standalone unit. Instead I connect it to a computer and use nano VNA saver and that's what I've got open now on the laptop. And the nano VNA is hooked up, nano VNA saver is open and I've got the series resonant circuit consisting of a 10 picofarad capacitor and the unknown value of inductor uh, connected to channel 0 or port 0 of the nano VNA. So I'm going to do a sweep now between uh, 13 and 55 megahertz and before doing that <clears throat> the chart that you're going to want for making this measurement is S11 phase and that can be selected by going down here clicking display setup and here are any number of six charts that can be displayed simultaneously just click in on one of the arrows and pick what you want. S11 phase is the most helpful one here. So we'll do that and then I'll do a sweep. And what we're interested in here is the point at which the phase shifts and crosses zero, which it does somewhere right around in here. But you can see that it switches polarity at this point. So we put a cursor on here, read the frequency, 37 point, we'll call it 37.5 megahertz. And then we can come to a calculator right here. This is from HB9 Alpha Mike Oscar. You can download this spreadsheet from his website. There are a number, a number of um, online calculators that will do the same thing. But anyway, we put in our known values. We've got a 10 picofarad capacitor and a frequency of what was it 37.5 megahertz put that here 37.5 and that tells us that our inductor the unknown inductor is 1.8 microhenries which uh, pretty much confirms what's in the book. The book says it should be 1.5 but I've got one extra turn wound on here so 1.8 microhenries and that's what I'm going to call this inductor. Anyway that's how you would measure an unknown inductor 
with a nano VNA. You do need a known value of capacitor and uh, then you can do it. And also note that on HB9 AMO spreadsheet, if you download it, there are three tabs down here at the bottom that I forgot to mention. You click on the, uh, the one for which value you want and um, it will solve for that. Anyway, 73s, thanks for watching.